Google just came out with some new recommendations on the top ways to make sure that your content appears well inside of AI experiences inside of Google search. So in this video, let's walk through their recommendations and what Google's saying is important for you to do so that you can show up really well in AI search experiences. And this can mean a lot of things. If you haven't seen, Google has their new AI tab specifically in search that is a whole new interface we have the ai overviews and of course we have gemini and that ai tab i talked about inside of google search is actually called ai mode so here are some things to consider for success in google search and all the ai experiences around it number one focus on unique non-commodity content and this is content that searchers are going to find helpful and satisfying when users are asking longer and more specific questions as well as follow-up questions Google's recommending you provide deep, helpful, and satisfying content so that the AI can deliver answers more from you. So let's break that down for a second. Question and answers, all within one page, all that are sourced and referenced. And also we're seeing that the most recent content does better, so something that's in 2025 opposed to 2020. Number two, provide a great page experience. Stay away from content that's cluttered, difficult to navigate, or makes it hard to find the information that they're looking for. Make sure your content displays well across different devices and it's not slow. And they need to be able to easily distinguish the content they're looking for versus other content. Item number three to make sure that your content performs well in Google's AI experiences on search is ensure we can all access your content. Now this is an interesting one because there's some new technical things that are coming out that are going to make it so that you can get into AI search and generative AI easier. First, it's important that your page follows the normal SEO best practices and follows the technical requirements for Google search, such as can they find the page, crawl the page, index the page. But in the next couple items, we're going to find out there's some more stuff you can do. Item number four, manage visibility with preview controls. So search engines allow site owners to control what shows up in the index if they take the time to control it. And that's also true within the AI formats. There are ways you can control it. So you can make use of things such as no snippet, data no snippet, max snippet, or no index. Should we go through what those are really quick? I guess we should. No snippet makes it so that they don't display the snippet in a preview. Data no snippet tells search engines and the AI exports of that not to use the content within that specific HTML element. And max snippet is an element that controls the length of the preview and the content. And no index means don't index it at all. So you can control how these things appear inside of AI with these controls. Item number five, make sure structured data matches the visible content. Search engines and AI definitely understand structured data. We also saw recently that Microsoft came out and recommended structured data as well for ChatGPT, as well as AI search results. Mark up your web page with as much structured data as possible so that it can be accurately interpreted by search engines and AI overviews and AI outputs. Item number six, go beyond multimodal success. What do I mean by that? Well, through the power of AI, people can perform multimodal searches. What that means is somebody can upload a video, they can upload a PDF, they can upload a image, and then they can ask questions about that. So that's a whole new way of searching. And so what Google's recommending is that you provide support for your text content with high quality images, videos, charts, graphs, PDFs. And they also say that you want to ensure your merchant profile and your business profile, so your Google business profile, are fully up to date because they take that information as well. Two more. We're almost done. Item number seven, understand the full value of your visits. Google says that they've seen when people click on a link inside of an AI overview, it's actually a higher value visit. They're much more likely to spend time on the site. And the reason for this is because the AI overviews provide so much information and give so much context that by the time they click to visit the site, they're already well-educated and really looking for something deeper. Google's asking you to recognize that this is a much more engaged audience, and because of that, you should offer deeper information. Don't focus on the amount of clicks, but the quality of the clicks and the higher conversion rates that are going to be associated with those clicks. So if your traffic goes down, the impressions probably went way, way up on the topic because Google's providing so much information on these AI overviews, and once they finally come to your site, they're really highly likely to convert. It's a little bit of a different user. Item number eight and the last one, evolve with your user. Google says the only thing that's predictable in search, and definitely this is the case with technology, is that it's always evolving. That's why I love this industry is because it changes every single day. It keeps you on your toes. Google's really clear is the classic 10 blue links is evolving to handle new things that the customer wants. Visuals, videos, news, images, and other types of content. This AI evolution is truly just that. It is an evolution and the whole search experience 
experience is changing with AI overviews in AI mode, as well as independent Gemini. And that's just within Google, of course. We're seeing that people are using search more often. They're asking complex queries. And when they get to the website, they're more satisfied with the results. That's from Google. Also, these AI overviews, they display a wide range of sources. So it's easier for people to click in and click out. So you can expect people to jump in and jump out of information. Those are the top recommendations to ensure your content performs well in Google's AI experiences in search. Have a question or comment? Leave it below. What did you think about their recommendations? Let's chat about it. This has been John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.